everybody, Jimmy here. There are some questions about what to do with assignments once you're finished with them. So you've written the code and you've put it on the internet, you've put it on your own your page that I've created for you, and you don't know what to do with it. So I thought I would show you what I mean. So I'm currently looking at peakofalpies.net. I have logged in as me. You'll see up here in the right, there's my login. And I have another tab here with the web page of one of my assignments. So I've written my uh, inline images assignment. I do realize this is not the whole thing. This is the example I gave you guys, but nonetheless, let's pretend that the page we're looking at here is a finished HTML assignment for my class. So notice it's jn0074.peakofallpeaks.net slash whatever the file name is, image-page-template.html. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. So I've got the full URL, or URL if you want to be really nerdy. Notice that even though Firefox left off HTTP colon slash slash from the front of this, it's actually still built in. HTTP colon slash slash is a way of telling the browser, I mean a web page, as opposed to an FTP file or an email message or something like that. It's the specific protocol. And we've become so... Uh, used to it that we don't have to include it in web browsers anymore. Well, even though it's technically still there. So anyway, you'll notice that I copied that address and when I come over to this other tab, it will the uh, URL will show up on the clipboard. So I'm going to go to the list of files. Hang on in a second here. There we go, sorry. Dashboard. And then we're going to go to pages. And you'll see once I'm logged in with an account that has the same kind of access as everyone else's. I also have an administrative account, obviously, but I logged in with an account like you guys have, so you can see what I'm talking about. So if I, I went to Peak of Wallpies, or I guess I went to Dashboard, then Pages, and then there's the All About Me page that I want to edit, mine. And I'm going to hit Edit. Then I'm going to wait for it to load which WordPress can sometimes be a little slow when a lot of people are on it. So you'll notice there's my All About Me page. So then I, now I've already got this in here, but I'm gonna show you what I mean. I highlight the text that I wanna turn into a link and I click this button up here that looks like a link and it allows me to paste the URL in there. Notice HTTP is already in there. So I can just paste it and hit Add Link and hit Update and I just edited my All About Me page to add a link to it to my assignment. So once you create an HTML document on your computer and then upload it using FTP, you need to look at that file in the browser like I did here. So I manually typed in jn0074.peakofallpeas.net slash whatever I called my file when I uploaded it and then it'll load in the web browser. Then I can copy that page, come back here, and actually create a link on my All About Me page specifically for that particular assignment. Hit update, and when I hit view page, hopefully, when it loads, you'll see, now I've got a new link that wasn't there before. So what I expect to be able to do is come to this page, go to the summer whatever it is, find your page, and all of your assignments will be listed right there. That's the, the goal. So I noticed some people have added links in the, if we go back to the dashboard here, some people have added links in the link section. That's not gonna do you any good because they don't show up anywhere. And some people have added things as a post. That's not gonna do you any good either. What I want you to do is go to your particular page, edit your particular All About Me page, add text that you want someone to click on, and using the, the built-in editor, the WYSIWYG editor, turn that text into a link, just like I did with this example right here. So we're gonna do that for each and every one of our assignments. All right, I hope that clarifies things a little bit. If not, send me an email.